Hey guys, welcome back to another Flyby Family DIY Tiny House video. Today we're going to start off showing you the design that we've got together for the tiny house that we've been building in Google SketchUp. So let's jump right into it guys. Uh, you can see my screen here, that's, uh, that's Buzz Lightyear and that's Rapunzel right there. So here's a, a design I made of the trailer based on the specs that I got from the trailer manufacturer. And this is minus the tongue that sticks out and actually the tongue will be on this end here if you can see my cursor. I didn't really take that into effect because we're not really building much on the, on the uh, tongue. We're going to put like uh, probably the propane tanks there but but really not building anything on the tongue so I didn't really account for those. So this is basically the trailer. The main body of the trailer is 34 feet long and with my little handy dandy tape measure here you can see that this trailer, if I zoom in and get it on the right angle, is exactly 34 feet. You can see that uh, right there by my tape measure. I'm going to have them make it 8 feet wide. There you go. Now if you know about tiny house trailers, you know that your tiny house can be up to 8.5 feet legally wide before you have to start getting special permits and stuff like that. But we're going to go with 8 and then that will allow us some room for like for the roof to hang over a little bit and just stuff like that that's going to take up extra space on the outside of the house. Because when you think about it, that only leaves three inches on each side and really that's not much. That's our 34 by 8 foot trailer. And I should probably start out by saying that this is going to be what we would consider a luxury tiny house. But we got a family of four and we're going with the mentality on this that we're building small. So we're going to put some cool stuff in it. Stuff that we would want in a big house. And we're going to get into the motivation behind the tiny house in another video. But for now, let's talk about the design. So let me start adding some stuff on there. This is going to be the steel plating and it's not really going to be red. It's going to be the same color as the steel. But I was explaining it to the... Uh, to the trailer manufacturer and I sent them some pictures and I wanted them to see it in a different color so that it would be easy to explain so that's why it was red. But now it's gray and it's all good. So after the steel plating, we are going to do something that a lot of tiny house builders, we, we haven't really seen it done yet and that is we are going to bolt our subfloor directly to the frame of the tiny house. This manufacturer makes the cross members here on 16 inch centers which is exactly what we would do the floor joists anyway this trailer manufacturer that we're going with also gives us the option to align the floor joists either with the bottom or with the top of the trailer we're choosing to have this center section aligned with the bottom we're choosing to have the outer section aligned with the top and then we're going to have this steel plating put on on top of that to make it a lot easier to bolt our walls down to. So let's start adding some stuff on there. We got that, so let's start adding our, our uh, subfloor on there real quick. So there's subfloor, and actually there's a little bit of uh, that subfloor right there. should be the same color as this one. Actually, I don't even know that we'll do subfloor on top of this. Obviously, we're still in kind of some of the design phase. We may actually just put flooring directly on this section here because it's really not a huge section and we're just honestly not too concerned about it. Now what I don't have on here is the stuff that's going to go on the bottom. We think we're going to go with some corrugated steel on the bottom uh, to cover that and then of course the insulation between. I did not do insulation in this Google SketchUp model because I know where insulation goes and I can kind of guesstimate how much we're going to need and honestly it's just a lot of time I didn't want to spend. I was really looking to spend more of the time in the design phase. Anyway, this is kind of the OSB. This is what the subfloor is going to look like. Now we can start adding some walls on there guys. Hold on a second. Sorry about the noise in the background. Two and a four year old. You know how that goes. Let's add a back wall. And... Bless you. I'm totally missing. <laughs> I'm missing walls. No worries. No worries. They're in here. Hold on. Front frame, yeah, that's important. Front frame. Where's the right side one there? Bang. I think maybe that's all the walls. At this point. Okay, so um, this is basically the frame of what our tiny house will look like. It's gonna be full of windows, and you, 
You'll be able to see that a lot more in a second. You know, this is where the door is going to go. These are windows. These are windows. One kind of cool thing about our tiny house is we're going to step it back right here. Have a little kind of step back. And you'll see what that's about in a minute. There's the kids kind of loft areas. Some of my layers are kind of screwy. So even though this stuff technically isn't a part of the framing, you still kind of get to see that early. There's the frame of it. The center part. Oh, I'm spinning. Check it out. There we go. So you can see right here, there's sections for skylights. We have a really big Mondo skylight that's going to go there. You'll see that uh, here in a few minutes when I put it in. In the back door here, we've got some French doors that outswing. This is going to be the kitchen over here. You'll see that in a few minutes. But there's kind of what the framing is going to look like. And you can kind of already start to see the roof line in there. A lot of people, they center up the ridge line. I guess it would be called the ridge line, right? We chose not to. That's largely because of these skylights that we have everywhere. I and mean, that was really to make room for those. But also, it's so that these lofts are going to be for the kids. So they can have a bed on one side and, and make use of the full height of the ceiling on the other side where they might want to play or, or do whatever. So you have it. There's the frame. So let's start adding some other stuff on top of the frame. Let's go with OSB. There you go, guys. There's the OSB layer. You can already see it's starting to take shape. So let's start to add some more stuff, huh? All right, there's the roofing. Oh, shoot, I forgot to add the decks a while ago, guys. I'm sorry. Let me add the decks. There we go. Okay, cool. So you can see the decks on the ends right here where each of the lofts are. There's going to be some side slide windows. The kids will each have their own loft uh, because we feel like it's important for them to be able to get away from each other and get away from us. And so they'll also have their own little deck sticking out here that they can totally uh, take advantage of and use to kind of get out and get away from us. This roofing is called Onda Villa. And it actually takes up a whole lot of CPU room because it's such a heavy uh, design. So I'm not going to keep it on there. I'm going to turn it back off here in a minute just so that everything's a little bit smoother. But this is Onda Villa Roofing. This is actually from the company. They put out this Google SketchUp model so that you can use it on your house. I'm missing it on one side here. I, I kind of got lazy and moved on to other things. And some of it I didn't cut off like I should. But you get the general picture. There's what it is. That's what it's going to look like. And... That stuff is really awesome. We're totally going to show you that stuff on another video and show you what it's made of. Really cool stuff. I'll tell you what. We're really looking forward to putting that stuff on. We love the look of it. It's really not that expensive, comparatively speaking. That's kind of what our roof is going to look like, guys. Let's move on. Let's put in some doors and windows. Doors and windows. Now you can start to really see the windows and everything come to life. So there's a giant skylight. There's giant skylights. We have all these doors and windows, guys. We're, I'll show you all that stuff in the next video, but we have all this stuff, and we got it all off Craigslist, and you are going to be completely amazed at how little we spent on all of these doors and windows, and really a lot of the stuff that I'm, I'm going to show you we have in the basement. It's, it's really awesome, and we really did good. We surfed Craigslist like crazy, like we said in the last video. And we got some really awesome, awesome deals on stuff. So we have all the windows you see, all the doors you see. We have it all. So let's go ahead and finish up the outside so that I can turn some of it back off here in a second. So let's turn on some siding. Uh, there's that. And at some point you did have the roofing all finished, but we had changed the design. And we did it again. Where's the other stuff? Hardy Plank. Hardy Plank. Yeah, so like she said, I had the roof perfect at one point. But due to some changes that I had to make because the trailer was not quite like we thought it was going to be. So I really changed everything around. Uh, we actually started out with a styrofoam model. And it was, it worked, but you know, it just wasn't super accurate. This program really puts it into perspective. And again, some of my stuff is still kind of wonky. Um, but this is basically hardy plank siding and somehow it all got kind of moved. So I didn't even see that last time I turned the layers off but this is probably a better side to look at you can see the hardy plank we're going to kind of do a, a brown there uh, originally we had a different idea for that but got a really good idea on hardy plank that looks like these kind of wood shingles and we'll show you that too but just a really smashing deal i couldn't pass it up so that's uh why, where the hardy plank came from one of the cool features oh yeah and i, I ought to take you around the back huh Let's go around to the back. Yeah, so I, I think we're just going to be boarding and batting on the back. It is the back of the house and not going to be seen by a lot of folks. So we're just going to kind of do the board and batten thing. Oh, look, some of my stuff moved again. Gee whiz. One more cool feature I guess I should kind of talk about while we're here on the outside of the house is a deck. So basically, when it's all said and done, and you'll see how it's designed in a minute, 
uh, mine and Ashley's beds will be under this skylight. And that's going to be a really weird thing. I'm going to show you here in a minute. But just for now, just push your I believe button and realize that our beds are going to be under there. And they're also going to be able to move out from and under there. Again, kind of weird. Just push the I believe button. Beds under there. So we, we want to be able to have our own deck. I mean, the kids each have their deck, right? Why shouldn't we? So why shouldn't we indeed? Um, so there's, there is going to be a deck. And this is what it's going to look like when it's folded up. It's going to fold up over when we travel with this thing because we do intend to do some traveling. And then it's going to fold out. And uh, when it folds out, there's little braces in there and stuff that's going to fold out. And uh, I can't show you the actual animation of it folding out, but what I can do is show you when it's folded out, what it'll look like. There's going to be some pieces that we have to put together, kind of, that won't fold down. But this is what it's going to look like. It's going to kind of have braces that go in there. I don't expect we're going to travel with this every weekend. So, yeah, we're going to have to do a little bit of work to get this thing folded out correctly. But that's okay. Point is, we'll have it. It'll be an awesome deck. And we'll be able to climb out this skylight, which does open, by the way. And we'll be able to chill out on our own deck, away from the kids, away from everybody. And kind of the cool thing about the deck, too, is it's almost a rooftop deck. It's technically not on the roof. But it is high enough to be kind of you know over the roof you'll be able to see over it both ways and we'll just be able to chill out there and get away ourselves if we want to so while a tiny house is obviously small and it's kind of harder to get away from each other that's kind of one of the things we designed in this tiny house was a way that we can actually get away so let me turn off this roof I'm gonna turn off the I'll leave the deck on but this will help it go a little smoother. I'm going to turn off the siding too. Real quick, Ashley wanted me to mention the the gable here. Um, this is not the design probably as it will be. We're probably going to redesign that a little bit. But it was just something I kind of put in there for a placeholder. Just to see what it kind of looked like. A gable on there. Alright guys, let's go inside the tiny house. I guess we'll just go right through the front door, huh? Looking at the tiny house from the inside, this is kind of what it looks like. Okay, so here's some of the interior framing as we go forward and go over this way. This is where our breaker box is going to be. Our bathroom area is going to be in here. Let's do some interior accessories. How about it? Okay, now you can start to see some of the interior accessories. This is a, I actually just now started working on this ladder going up to the kids' loft. We kind of want it to be a ladder and a shelf. Let's bring in the desks. They're over here. These are going to be desks for the kids. Uh, let's just let's walk on through before I start showing you some really cool stuff. And under all of this stuff, because of the step up, we're going to actually have little toe kick drawers under everything in the kitchen. So our kitchen countertops are going to be a little bit taller. But to us, that's okay because I'm a taller kind of guy. Ashley's not super short. Um, but we think it'll still be a good height for both of us. And it'll give us extra storage under the cabinet. It'll work out. It'll work out. These are our two washer dryers, which we already have. Um, we'll show those to you, of course, in the next video where we start showing you stuff. Uh, we have this really awesome refrigerator that we're going to kind of refinish uh, to go in there. It's an old refrigerator. We'll show you that. We also have this really old um, old stove that's going right here. I think it was, it's a 1949. And uh, so we're going to show you that in the basement, too. These colors that are on the stove and the fridge, we're not quite set on those. We keep kind of messing around with the colors to see what we like. You can start to see the inside and how it's taking shape. We have the countertop already to go in here. And we're going to have a dishwasher over here. We believe in dishwasher. Is it's that a small one, only an 18 inch, but at least we'll have something there. <laughs> yeah, and it won't really look like this. It's just kind of a placeholder. There's a lot of placeholder kind of stuff in here. But like I said, we can show you the real stuff. A lot of it actually does look quite the same. So let's talk about our desks for a minute. Our desks are really cool. I'm going to design them so that they pull out and then collapse together to be a table. Uh, part of the really awesome thing I love about our family is that we sit down to meals together. We really focus hard on trying to make family meals and trying to make that a, a moment where we can kind of be together as a family. That's something I want to continue even in our tiny house, which is Kind of hard to do in a tiny house, but I think this will do it. And I'll show you what that looks like when they're pulled out and together. This will be what they look like. Matter of fact, we think that when we're finished with this, we should be able to seat uh, up to eight people around this thing. So we really expect a lot out of our crazy little desks slash table here. 
That's really important to us, so we're going to kind of keep that going. Here's our couch, of course. We've had this couch for years. We actually hope to replace it with a leather couch before we move into this thing. But, you know, that's all kind of a... That's all a money permitting thing, but uh, with young kids, if you have young kids, you know that a material couch, even though all the covers on this couch are totally removable, it's an Ikea couch, a material couch is very, very much of a pain in the butt. This is kind of a placeholder. It really doesn't look like the stove we're getting, but we do have our eye on a wood-burning fireplace that's a really small one that's going to mount right here. And uh, underneath this, we want to be able to hang coats and stuff like that. But It's called a cub, isn't it? It's called a, uh, I think it's called a cub mini. I don't know. I, I, I could pull it up. I'll show you maybe in a later video what that looks like. But if you want to look it up, that's it. And actually, this particular one is going to be called a grizzly. Because it's, it's not the, the very smallest one they have, but it's the next to smallest. Which is still pretty doggone small. As you enter the bathroom here, you'll notice that um, we have an Ikea sink right there. This is a mirror, and there's there's going to be a, you know, the cabinet down below it. I don't have the cabinet in here. But one other really cool thing that we have is a clawfoot tub. We have a full-sized 72-inch clawfoot tub that we got a great deal on on Craigslist. We're going to show it to you. It actually looks way cooler than this one on the video. And even though it looks cooler than this one, I have it scaled to the exact same length and width measurements. So again, a placeholder, but it gives you a really good idea of what's going on there. Let's take you on around, kind of move around in our little tiny uh, bathroom. Uh, on this side, there's a composting toilet. It's going to be a homemade composting toilet with a kit that you can buy online. We'll talk about that at a later date, I'm sure. And there's another one. We want to actually have two toilets in our tiny house because we are four people, and sometimes two people need to poop at the same time. So we think it's really important to have uh, have an extra toilet. The third person's out of luck. The third person's out of luck. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay, um, let's turn on some stuff to kind of fill this area. I have some interior siding to put on. There's some interior siding. It's starting to take shape a little bit more. Let's put some kids' beds up there. Oh, and I totally forgot to show you guys. Wow, I'm not very very uh, organized, am I? Uh, out here, um, on this ledge right here, we totally intend to put flowers. We want to put little flower pots out there because we think that that will just make it awesome. We like flowers, and we like outdoor stuff. That's that. And now we are back on top of the desks. Okay. Starting to take shape. Let's go on up to one of the kids' lofts. I said this, this loft here is going to have stairs, um, and that's uh, our son Mars's loft. He's only two right now. We expect by the time we move in here, he'll be three. Even though he'll probably be able to be okay with ladders, still we kind of we want to incorporate stairs just in case. There's always those kind of midnight moments where you really need to get to a toilet fast you know what i mean just saying there's a mini split ac uh that's up there before i mentioned that we want our beds to be right below this thing right it's like how is that completely even possible well here's how it's possible let's bring in some beds so these are the beds in the up position as we have them designed you'll notice that there's one bed on each side of the skylight right here. So there's that one and there's that one. Whenever we got rid of our last mattress, we decided to go with extra long twin size beds because sometimes I think you just kind of don't want to share a bed with somebody. You know, it's just you get sick. You don't want to give them your germs or Ashley's mad at me and she's going to beat me up if she has to lay in bed with me. So... <laughs> We just kind of decided for our own comfort, and honestly, we really do get or better. Or you like your own cover. Or you like your own cover. You don't want somebody stealing your cover. But we really honestly get better sleep sleeping on separate beds. We've got separate beds up here, but these are in the up position. We're not going to sleep on them up there. There's like no room up there. But these beds, if you can see these two by fours here, um, they actually, there's a pivot point here, and there's a pivot point here. So these two by fours will swing down. Beds will kind of swing down and together. So we will actually still be able to sleep together. But if we want to, we'll be able to scoot them apart too. And like I said, I can't really show you the animation of that. 
But what I can totally do is show you that um, this board here, for example, it'll pivot kind of like this and then go straight down. And so you can probably kind of use your imagination to see where I'm going with that. If that one pivots like that and this one pivots like that and they're joined to the bed right here, then the bed's going to come down and be even to the floor. Also, we have built-in stairs in our... Holy smokes, we just went inside the fridge. Let's go up in this loft. This is Nova's loft. We totally have stairs built in here too, which are also storage. Um, Ashley introduced me to the Con Con Marie way of life uh, not too far back and where you kind of go through all your stuff and you get rid of stuff and then all the rest of your clothes you kind of store it in shoe boxes. Not like cardboard shoe boxes, but plastic ones that you can get from like Home Depot. And those shoe boxes are going to fit neatly inside of these stairs. So basically what's going to happen with our lofts is they're going to kind of swing down into the center and then these stairs are going to swing down to the floor. Now let me show you what that looks like because at this point you're probably thinking I'm crazy. So this is what that's going to look like. You see now that these boards are all aligned down and you can see our stairs are down. And the really cool thing about this is we won't even have to put fronts on these and our clothes, our shoe boxes won't fall out because they never, they never go past this degree here where they're flat. So the shoe boxes will sit in there. There'll be easy access to get our clothes in and out. And even when they're tilted up, the shoe boxes will still be at an angle less than 90 degrees from the position they are now. I think it's a pretty cool design feature. Uh, our beds, here they are. And then you can kind of uh, imagine here. Let me get a little, get you a view of what it'll be like from our beds at night. Yeah, we'll be able to look right out that skyline and have a big, nice view of the the sky and the the, uh, the stars at night. Lightning storms, which may we're, we are we're actually talking about putting blinds on there too, so that we can kind of um, close them if stuff outside gets crazy and we don't want to be witness to that. But um, <laughs> anyway, this skylight will open. Like I said, you'll be able to climb out, go on the deck. And that would be a really cool place to be, especially at nighttime when the weather's awesome and you just want to sit outside, let the kids go to bed early kind of thing. That's going to be a really nice uh, spot to be in. So again, I'll take you over here and give you one last shot of the beds. That's kind of what the kids will see when our beds are down. We're also talking about um, some curtains and, you know, a little way to put in privacy. Mommy and Daddy need some privacy sometimes when they sleep so uh we'll probably have some <laughs> curtains in there and uh some kind of you know something that we can draw over to kind of give us a little privacy so that's our beds they they'll come down they'll go up to store when they're in the up position we'll have this big giant skylight that we can still look out during the day it'll let a ton of light in here that's kind of that that's that's how that's gonna rule another cool feature that i'd like to point out while i'm in here oh i didn't even turn on the electrical look at that Bang, there's your electrical outlets. Another cool feature if you go into the kitchen is going to be that this countertop is going to actually be cut right down through here. If you can see my little feet, how I'm moving them. Let me put on a cursor. Yeah, maybe you can see that better. It'll be cut right here. There's going to be a deep freeze under this section of the countertop. The countertop will raise up and swing back. There'll be a deep freezer right there. I got a really great deal on a small deep freeze on Craigslist. Uh, of course, so that's kind of how that's going to work. Like I said, we already have our countertop. We have a really awesome sink that we got on clearance at Lowe's. There are going to be windows everywhere in this house, guys. There's really not going to be a place we can hide unless we get blinds. But that's kind of the way we like it. We just really want a lot of windows. So if you want a peep show, you know where to go. Hey, 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 no peep shows. But also, our plan is to put this tiny house in the middle of the woods on a secluded kind of spot kind of how we want to do that and if it's secluded then we really won't have to worry about the whole peep show thing too much so you um, might be scarred you might be scarred for life <laughs> or jealous hmm. <laughs> um another cool thing i would like to show you guys before i let you completely go here i'm going to put radiant floor heat in this house it's going to be operated off of our hot water heater that's in the bathroom yeah it's it's Hot water is going to get heated up by that, run through these pipes, and heat up our floor nice and awesome. This is actually one big continuous loop. 
that flows through there, the hot water flows through, and it actually goes along the outside first so that the coolness during the wintertime off of the windows will kind of roll down, hit that, and get warmed up first. So yeah, there's the floor heat, um, and I've got the spinning circle of death. So then if you add on the subfloor layer number two, and then you can kind of see our flooring, we plan to go with a tile that looks like wood on the floor. We've got some really cool kind of crazy stuff we're gonna try to do on the floor. And a lot of that depends. We're gonna try to get some sponsors for uh, some of the trim board that you see here. Right now it kind of looks like maple, but we really, really, really wanna use bamboo plywood and cut it and make all of this stuff out of bamboo. Problem is it's kind of hard to get in our part of the country. So we're gonna to talk to some bamboo people that sell that kind of stuff and see if they'll kind of give us the hookup. Yeah, we totally have a door. Um, I don't have it in the model yet, but we have an awesome door that we picked up from Lowe's. It was, uh, it was on clearance and we got it dirt cheap. The door actually has a window pane in it. It's, it's not a see-through, you can't see through it, but there is a window pane there. We wanna put a pipe ladder to connect to the wood parts and go across the window all the way up. And that's how Nova will get up to her loft. She'll actually climb the door. It's gonna be a barn door and it's gonna slide this way in between the couch and this wall. If all works out. Um, another cool thing we wanna do in our bathroom is there's a shower head and there's a shower head. We wanna have two shower heads because uh, sometimes it's kind of fun to take a shower together, you know? We wanna be able to take a shower together and have our own water temperature and have our own shower Spigot because Ashley likes really hot water and I like not so hot water. Not a big fan of scalding hot water. Leave it in the comments. Do you like scalding hot showers or regular showers? We would love to hear how you shower. Is that weird? Is that is that kind of too much info? Save water, shower with a friend. There you go, shower with a friend. I, I guess we'll really save water because we got two shower heads. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if that's gonna work for us. But anyway, guys, that's kind of the interior design. Uh, you know, I'm still it's still kind of in the works. You can see I don't have some of the interior siding. But that's kind of the design we're going with. I don't know if I'm going to go much further with the design here on SketchUp, simply because I don't think I kind of need it. The main stuff that I wanted to fit into this design and, and make sure that I had room for were things like the stove that we have, the washer dryers that we have, uh, the fridge that we have. So all of this stuff has been scaled uh, to perfection as far as like how big it is and how much space it takes up. Same thing with our mattresses and that sort of thing. Just for design purpose to make sure that we have space for that. Obviously there's a lot of small stuff that you're still not going to be able to do in SketchUp or at least not in any kind of like decent amount of time frame. But that's our design, guys. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments. Let me zoom back out one more time and put everything together so you can kind of see it. All right, guys, so a little zoom out. That gives you a really good feel for what our tiny house is going to look like when it's gone. Let us know in the comments if you love it, hate it, whatever. If you hate it, probably not going to change it. <laughs> but, uh, but that's kind of our design. That's what we're going for. We really consider this to be a luxury tiny home. Um, if you've ever seen that series, uh, what is it? Is it called Tiny Luxury? Tiny Luxury. Tiny Luxury. If you've watched that series, then I feel like this home would fit in really good on there. But I'm telling you, you're going to be amazed, I feel like, at what we build this little tiny luxury house for. So that's it for now, guys. Tune in next video. I'm going to take you down to the basement. I'm going to show you what the actual stuff looks like that we collected from Craigslist that's going to go in here. Um, kind of talk a little bit about that stuff. At some point in the video after that, we're going to talk about codes and requirements, stuff like that we're going to meet. How we're kind of going about the whole code issue, zoning issue kind of thing with tiny houses because that's a real gray area with tiny houses there'll be a video pretty soon about our trip to go actually put money down on our trailer which is gonna happen a week from today which is wednesday you probably won't see this video until maybe tomorrow thursday but a week from today we're gonna go and put money down on our trailer we have to put 20 percent down to order it and then uh, pay the rest when, pay the rest when we pick it up they say that they can have the trailer done in two weeks, which is, to me, is amazing. They must have just a 
serious crew of guys that are going to work on this thing. So we're going to film that. We're going to take a little trip, go do that. And then, of course, we're going to have some videos in there. Then we're going to film the arrival of our trailer. Um, uh, I have a cousin that's going to pick it up for us uh, coming out of Arkansas. He's going to drive this way. He, he, he's been wanting to come for a visit anyway. So he's going to come and he's going to grab this trailer on the way and bring it to us. Super awesome guy. But so you get to see the trailer delivered, and then it really won't be too long after that, guys, that you're going to see me start on this thing. Like I said, we've got a whole lot of this stuff in the basement, so we're really close to starting on it. So guys, look forward to the next videos. We will see you next video. Tiny house it up, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, if this is your first video. Subscribe so you can check out all the videos. We are going to do a very detailed build series of this entire tiny house and with me who really doesn't have a whole lot of experience i'm really gonna base a lot of this off of uh, youtube videos and stuff i've seen um, and a lot of research i've done also one quick thing i want to give a shout out to jake and kiva um, they have a build series a tiny house build series called tiny nest if you're interested in this stuff at all and you don't know who i'm talking about i seriously recommend you go check out They've basically built theirs at this point, and they filmed the entire thing. I'm getting a lot of the information, the ideas on how I'm going to go about building mine from Jake and Kiva. They did a really awesome job building a tiny house. Theirs is super cool. So I highly suggest you go check them out if you haven't. And the main thing of my shout-out that I totally forgot that my awesome wife just reminded me of is I would not have been able to use SketchUp to build this model if it hadn't been for the videos that Jake and Kiva made. They made a video series that shows you how to use SketchUp and it is the bomb. Seriously, mad props. I was really skeptical. I put off doing it forever. I was actually determined that I was going to do this on paper or some other way. And you know, I was gonna do it some other way because SketchUp was seriously a pain in my butt to try to figure out how to use. I made the leap of faith there. He actually charges 30 bucks for that series, but it's worth every single dime highly suggest it if you're going to build a tiny house this is the only way to do it right here you can really really get a feel for um how stuff is going to fit together and and actually use this largely for a blueprint of how to cut your boards and how everything's going to go together guys it's just an amazing thing jake did an excellent job of creating that of cre <laughs> if you heard that grunt, that was my son on the potty right beside us. <laughs> he did an excellent job at talking about how to use SketchUp, walking you through it, and getting you started on SketchUp. Highly recommend, guys. Seriously, go check out Tiny Nest videos. Seriously awesome. With that being said, guys, we will see you next video. Look forward to seeing you. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like the video. Likes help us out majorly. And share the video with somebody if you know somebody that loves tiny houses and everything it really helps us out if you share the videos you know these videos are going to be part of what actually helps us pay for this tiny house so if you want to give us a giant hookup share the videos on your facebook on your twitter on an account of some sort email it to somebody text it to somebody whatever and uh, that'll really help us out to get more views guys um we will see y'all next video peace honey house peace, honey house, oh, peace.